What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I got another package from Aroma Concepts and we've got two Paris Corner fragrances and two from Cadlage and one is the very much seems to be getting some hype new Eternal Coffee which is what we're going to start with from Paris Corner. So I have no clue about the other three but we're going to dive into them and uh, obviously these were sent to me by Aroma Concepts has zero bearing on what I'm going to think about the fragrances but uh, yeah we're going to bust these open and check them out. Stay tuned. So here we go. We are going to start with Pure Coffee. I believe this is an original from them. I haven't looked at the notes, but I know it's definitely one of their new releases. Frosted bottle. I always like the frosted bottles. That's an interesting looking cap. I like. I kind of dig the bottle. Eternal coffee from Paris Corner. Info on the bottom. Let's check out this cap. Doesn't click into place. Holds pretty well. And I don't know what kind of material. Some kind of plastic material. It's not real heavy. But it is an interesting looking cap. Let me. Get some focus action going on here. There we go. Now you can see that pretty well. Interesting cap. So we are going to go, Atomizer was lined up. We're going to go straight to the hand with this one. Big wide spray. Um, These little coffee candies. Which ones am I thinking of? The, the cream savers, but the coffee flavor. It's so immediately what I think. It's a sweet, creamy, coffee, candy smell. Yes, very much. Smells like coffee flavored, some kind of coffee latte flavored cream savers. I'll have a picture of cream savers on screen in editing. If I can find the specific ones I'm talking about, I'll have those on screen. Oh, this is a fun, sweet one. Okay, it's not as serious and maybe as dark and robust as I maybe would have thought. Because with a name like Eternal Coffee, I was thinking it was going to be a very dark and like robust, more so than rich and sweet. It's rich, sweet, creamy, and a little playful. Like I said, it reminds me of the candy, specific, the hard candies, the cream savers. I like this. My wife would really like this, too. Almost like a caramel macchiato kind of smell, which is her favorite drink. I'm digging this. Let's pull up the notes. I'll have it on screen for you guys. A few minutes later. So Eternal Coffee is only 37 bucks before the discount codes. So fragrance notes are coffee, milky, caramel. That makes all the sense in the world. I literally was thinking caramel macchiato, cream savers, candied, sweet. Mid notes is lactonic, coconut, and heliotrope. Base of musk, sugar, tonka bean, and then it says creamy again. Eternal Coffee is a fragrance that celebrates the essence of a beloved ritual, the enjoyment of a cup of coffee. Its aromatic blend of coffee, creamy accords, and indulgent sweetness creates an olfactory symphony that invites you to savor every moment. Inspired by the aromatic richness of freshly brewed coffee, this scent invites both men and women to embrace the eternal allure of this beloved beverage. And I won't read all the rest of the stuff because it breaks down the top, mid, and heart, but yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. I see why I, I understand why I'm seeing a lot of posts on Instagram about it. It smells like cream savers, coffee flavored cream savers. And the it's funny that caramel's in the nose because I do get a little bit of a caramel smell. It's very milky, creamy, sweet, sugary. Just all of that. Everything I read about the notes makes sense. Lactonic. Yeah, it's a thick, creamy, sweet coffee fragrance. It's beautiful. I like this one. We started off with a fun one. So we'll rate them at the end, but. So far, so good. Next, we are going to check out Rifak Rifakat. I don't. I'm <laughs> butchering that. I know it. Rifakat. I. Sorry, Neeb can pronounce these fragrances so much better than I can. Shout out to my buddy Neeb, Channel Aromatics. I cannot pronounce this. Uh, I'm butchering it. I'm sure. Let's just check the damn fragrance out. That's all that really matters, right? Ooh. Ooh, that's a heavy bottle. Look at how much glass is on the base. Wow. 
oh wow, I got the notes on the back, so I've already got a glimpse of the notes. I mean, we might as well read them off. It's a warm, spicy fragrance. Top notes of elemy, pink pepper, and black pepper. Ooh, creamy and spicy. Okay. Heart notes of saffron, olibanum. Base notes of vanilla and cedar wood. Ooh, this sounds good. Basic bitch cap. Nothing. Yeah, it's not magnetic or anything. Basic little cheap cap, but. Ooh, that sweet cream coffee's good. I have high hopes for this one. Great atomizer. That's fresher than I anticipated it to be, and a lot more vanilla. Got a lot of fresh vanilla in the opening. It's like a smoky yet fresh vanilla. Oh, when you get close to skin, though, dry spice. Warm, dry spice. But still has some freshness. This is an interesting one. I wonder if this is an original because I haven't smelled anything like this one. This is more my cup of coffee, I guess you could say, because we smell the coffee fragrance. The coffee fragrance is really good. This speaks to me a lot more. Very masculine, dry, a little woodsy, smoked, peppered spice. The notes make sense here. All of it. All of it makes sense here. I don't get the creaminess of the Elemi, though. Like, it's not creamy in the top. But it doesn't wear real heavy, either. That's the weird thing about this. But then again, it's not a bunch of heavy notes. Because pink pepper, black pepper, saffron, olibanum, and cedar wood are not necessarily heavy notes. Vanilla could be. And Elemi could add some thickness. Uh, some density to the the body of the aroma, but not really. It's actually bright and airy. I think that's what I mean when I say uh, fresh. It's more bright and airy. It doesn't wear heavy. Holy shit, this is great. This is more my speed. I wish I could pronounce the damn name of the fragrance. <laughs> it's, I mean, it is what it is. I can't pronounce it. R-I-F-A-A-Q-A-T. I'll have to look up how to pronounce it. This is so good. It's smoky black pepper and wood. Little bit of vanilla. Out in the air, I got more vanilla than I do directly off of skin. I mean, we don't have to pull it up. I'll have put it on screen from the website for you guys, but I mean, we had it on the bottle right here, the note breakdown. This is the fragrance to beat in this video. Don't get me wrong. Eternal Coffee was is beautiful. It's fun and sweet and all that good stuff. A lot of people are going to like this one. This one may be a little bit more polarizing, but there's a refinement here. This one speaks to my taste a little bit more. It's a lot more masculine and spicy, and I love smoky fragrances, and it's all of those things. But let's move on. So we have two Barois fragrances from Cadlage. We have Solid Gray and Pure Navy, so obviously of the same line. Clearly, I need to start with the blue first. I'm not, I don't know if it's a blue fragrance, but it's a blue bottle. So inside the box is a pouch. I did not see this coming. So here we go. A soft le leatherette type of feel. Is it real leather? No. No, it's faux leather. That's okay, though. Let's get the bottle out. All right. Interesting. Matte finish. Does look a little cheap. I'm going to be honest. Has a little bit of a cheap look to it. Ooh. Upgrade points right there. Let's see if it's strong enough. Magnetic cap strong enough. It's a satisfying slider sound. Okay. They got some bonus points for the magnetic cap. It's a solid magnetic cap. Let's give it a spray. Big wide mist. I know this. I know what that is. It's on the tip of my tongue. What is this? I know this fragrance. I want to say Profondo, but I feel like there's something else going on here. Maybe Profondo Lights. Ugh. 
something along those lines. Oh, I like it though. It's aquatic, it's woody, it's fresh. There's some greens here, like a green spice. Like Profondo, maybe even Profondo Lights because I get so much greens here. I like this, obviously. It smells in the realm. That's what comes to mind is Profondo. A little lighter, a little bit more airy. I like it. Now I'm really curious on what the gray one is. Let's pull up these notes. 12 seconds later. Okay, so they're 33 bucks a piece. They are not expensive. Currently five of these in stock. Top is Marine Notes, Aquazone. Yes, it's Profondo. There you go. <laughs> it's Profondo. Bergamot, Green Mandarin, mid of Rosemary, Cypress, Lavender, Mastic, base of Mineral Notes, Musk, Patchouli, Amber. Yeah, it's Profondo. Okay. Because <laughs> I was like, I know this. God, I know this. And, and I was right. It's Profondo. That is Profondo's note breakdown. No reason to, to read the note breakdown, guys. This is a clone of Aqua Digio Profondo. Now, it's not over it's not as strong as Profondo, but for the money, it's pretty damn accurate because it was like immediately like, mm, why can't I spit the name out? I know what this fragrance is and it took me a minute. Not even a minute, it took me a, you know, handful of seconds or so, but I I got to it. It's Profondo. I do get a lot of the rosemary though. Clear as day. The quality is actually decent here. 34 bucks before the 10% off code. This isn't too bad. This isn't too shabby, and I know some of you are going to say, how does it compare to Armoff, uh, Lyric, whatever, red, the red one? I've never tried it. I know that's a clone of Profondo, too. I've never tried it, so I, I don't know. I want to make sure to state this here now, because I know people are going to ask me in the comments. I don't know how it stacks up against it, but I can tell you immediately, it was unmistakable, like carbon copy smell of Profondo. There was no... Does it smell like it? It was like, this is Profondo. Maybe even Profondo Lights because there's so much rosemary, but the note breakdown is Profondo. I like this one quite a bit. <laughs> I mean, because I'm a big Aqua Digital Profondo fan. So, Profondo on the cheap, basically. Let's check out the gray one. All right, so I'm really excited to see what this is. So, we got Profondo. Is this Profumo? Is this the Parfum? The Parfum's kind of gray. But that just came out. I don't know if this just came out. That'd be crazy if they already cloned the parfum. White leatherette this time. That's actually pretty smooth looking. I like that way more than the blue. Gray bottle. As expected, gray and white. I mean, it could be a different fragrance line, but part of me wants to believe... Atomizer's is lined up again. Part of me wants to believe that it's another Aqua de Joe flanker. Maybe Profumo, maybe Profondo, something like that. We are about to find out, though. No, it's not. It's something different. <laughs> it's something different. Spicy. Let me give it another good spray, because I didn't get a full spray. There we go. Now i got a full spray on my arm. we got to give that a second to let everything cool off. But, I, I mean... I was surprised. Barois, uh Pure Navy, straight up Aqua de Joe Profondo. Like, they they went for it. It's pretty close. <laughs> I'd have to compare them side to side, but it seems like it's pretty close upon uh, first impressions. This is super black pepper. This is straight up black pepper. A lot of black pepper, like dominant. It's like too much. Too much black pepper. It's not exciting me. We finally came across one in this video that's not exciting me. It just happens to be the last one. It's too much black pepper. I like black pepper in fragrances. I like the peppery spice. It is calming down a little bit, but the opening was very, not harsh, but overwhelming black pepper. And some people don't like that. So be wary of that. If you get this one, the top spray, the opening spray is just loads of black pepper. This is getting familiar. It's a little bit of a watery nuance, but something really distinctive and odd about it. Let's pull up the notes. 
10 seconds later. Barwaz Solid Gray, 33 bucks once again. They have eight in stock. Cypress, that's what it is. Cypress Lemon Juniper, Fig Laurel Rosemary, Cedar Ambergris Vetiver. I know this note breakdown. I know this fragrance. What the hell is this? Why did it smell like black pepper in the opening? There's no pepper in this note breakdown. It smelled like straight up black pepper. Maybe it's the way the cypress and rosemary came across. But it smelled like straight black pepper when I sprayed it. It's very green now. I don't get any citrus though. I'm surprised to see lemon. I don't get citrus. I don't really care for this one. It's not bad. I just don't care for it. The other three were so good that I guess it was destined to be underwhelming, right? It doesn't smell bad. It's just the others impressed me so much more. It's very spicy. And it doesn't just smell like rosemary and cypress. You would think it'd be super green. But not, it's not like a minty cypress. The rosemary is very green. I don't get bright lemon and a ton of aromatic, like a gin hit or anything from juniper berry. This one's kind of surprising to me. It is getting a little bit fresher. It's okay. If I would have started with this one, I might feel a little bit better about it because the first three were so much better than this one. Eh, it's okay. Let's give them some ratings. So the first one we started with was Eternal Coffee, which I believe to be an original. <sighs> this is such a good one. A lot of people are going to like this one. A lot of people are going to like Eternal Coffee. I'm telling you, Cream Savers. Still smells like Cream Savers to me. This is great. The quality's good. It's super enjoyable. I think this one's really easy to like. A lot of people are going to enjoy this one. This is an 8 out of 10. This is a great fragrance. I like this one a lot. It's that simple. I like it a lot. It smells like Cream Savers. Now, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. We'll just put it up for you guys to read it because I, I butchered it the first couple times. The vanilla's creeped in a little bit more, but it's still smoky, spicy, woody. This is my favorite fragrance in this video. This is really, really good. This is a great every, it's, it's so airy. For all of this warmth and spice and smokiness, it's very airy. It makes it so much more wearable than it would be if it was a heavier fragrance. This is, this is awesome. Nine out of 10 outstanding. I can't pronounce the damn name of the fragrance, but boy, I sure think it's a nine out of 10. If you like really spicy fragrances, this is it for you. It's aromatic, airy, and just light, but not like not weak when I say light. It just wears light. Very spicy, warm, but not fiery hot. Light sweetness. It's not overrun with vanilla, at least not right now. Maybe in the deeper dry down, it might be just like straight vanilla. But I do get plenty of that wood. The spice combo here of black pepper, pink pepper, and saffron is a great mix with olibanum. Outstanding. Next, we have Barois Pure Navy from Cadlage. Straight up, Aqua de Gio Profondo. It is light and airy. It's weaker than Profondo. I have to say, it doesn't like punch me in the nose the way Profondo does, but for the money, it's hard to complain because it's low 30s before discounts. Um, the quality seems to be what and what. It's actually not as sharp and synthetic in the opening as actual Profondo is, but it was unmistakable that it's Profondo. This one's great too. This is 8 out of 10 as well. Another good one. I like this. I like this a lot. Yep. It's up there with an 8 out of 10, just like Eternal Coffee. Now, Cadlage Barois Solid Gray. The opening didn't do anything for me. It is getting a lot better as it dries. It's still very spicy, though. I'm very surprised. I get a peppery spice, and I don't think it's just this rosemary. I, that's got to be the leading note here, but it doesn't, it doesn't give me much of a green facet for having cypress 
and rosemary as two of the like nine notes in this fragrance. It's not overly green. It's more of a pepper spice. And it's, I'd say it's better than good, but it's not very good. Like it doesn't blow me away uh, because I like the first three so much better than this. Like if I, if I just had these four fragrances, I would seldom reach for this because I would want to reach for the other three so much more often than this one. So it's, it's you know, better than good. It's slightly above average. It smells nice. Quality's decent. Uh, it smells like a pepper bomb to me, but it's a 6 out of 10. There's nothing special going on here. It's familiar, but I can't place it. I don't know what it's cloning because the other one's clearly cloning Aqua de Jo Profondo. This is probably cloning something too. I just can't place it for some reason. Uh, and typically fresh and spicy fragrances are my jam, but this one just doesn't speak to me. It does not smell bad in any way, shape, or form. It's not a turnoff. It just doesn't, like, give me all the feels that the other three gave me. So 6 out of 10. Well, that was the four fragrances in this haul. Once again, thank you so much to Aroma Concepts for sending these my way. Three out of the four, pretty damn good. Two, really impressive. Uh, Eternal Coffee and, again, not going to try to pronounce this one, the highest rated fragrance in the video, 9 out of 10, just special. I'm going to be wearing this one in the next few days. Uh, and until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. Have you tried any of these? How many of you have already tried this? Like I said, I've been seeing a lot of posts on Instagram about Eternal Coffee. People have been gravitating to this one. And I can see why. This is the most playful and fun of the four. Hands down. Uh, definitely the most unisex, too. It's, it's, it's a good release. It's a really good release. Kudos, Paris Corner. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these four and you give them a spray now... There's a chance you might thank me later. Have a good one, guys.